God declares today that Christ's blood has brought you close to him. This is a former project, not a current one. Lord, bring me near to you, Christ, the natural intellect. I tell you now that I have already brought you as close as you could possibly get. There have been adversities that have become permanent fixtures in your life. You've even given up glancing up to check whether they're still there. Look again, the Father says. I have converted the enemy's paper tiger of bogus threats into dust and ashes. Celebrate your newfound freedom. It's a new day, and I'm inviting you to go along the new roads I've laid out for you. God say, I love you nothing and nobody, not even that will change that. When it push you from the edge, trust me fully because two things can happen. Either I will catch you when you fall, or I will teach you how to fly. In this month of February, I'm going to bless you and your family so much that no room will be enough to contain all of the blessings. God is saying, in this month of February, I am placing. I will be your comfort and gracial. In times of trouble, I will give you a double portion of my blessings and grace. Remember, no matter what you face in life, don't let go of God's hand, Jesus died to save your soul. I am urging you to abandon an old covenant worldview and live in the fullness of a new covenant perspective. On yourself and your relationship with me, come near to me, and I will draw near. To you, I stated in the old covenant, I have brought you near to me through the blood of the Son I proclaimed in the new covenant. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. The newsreaders only know what they see and hear, and they are not compensated to deliver the truth. Receive your messages from the heavens, and you will begin to understand what I am doing among mortals. Come to me, there is not much time left. Jesus, you are the love of my life. God is saying in this month of February, every tongue that raises against you and your family should be condemned. Type amen, I receive the blessings for me and my family. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John chapter 8 verse 12. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Without him, I am nothing. Things may have gone wrong today, and that's okay. Dust it off and focus on what went right. Keep going. Countries will rise and fall. Continents will quake and tremble. Economies will crumble under the weight of uncontrollable processes. Fear will burn over the world like an uncontrollable wildfire. I exclaimed in the old covenant. In the new covenant, I ask you to receive the purification of son's blood. Type yes if you believe. God bless you.